What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video and series of videos, we're going to be learning about HTML, aka Hypertext Markup Language. But this is going to be part of a larger series of videos and playlists that's dedicated to helping you become a full stack web developer. We're going to be going over the languages involved in the front end like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We're also going to go over the various languages, databases and tools used for the back end and server administration like PHP, MySQL, Linux, and we'll also learn some Python. These are going to be broken up into various playlists. And again, this first playlist is dedicated to HTML. Now, what is HTML? HTML is a markup language. It's not a programming language. It's not a scripting language. It's a markup language, but it serves as the foundation of every single website online. It doesn't matter how advanced the website might be or how dynamic it might seem. They all have HTML. So it's good to have a solid foundation in this language that's very easy to learn. Now my website, I actually have several articles and I'll be adding more to these. They go over some very important topics when it comes to HTML, CSS, and the other languages. And I share code snippets as well. Now, what does HTML look like? Well, in this code snippet over here, and don't worry if you don't fully understand what's taking place in all this code. This is just basic HTML elements, tags with attributes that provide information to the web browser on how to display your content in the browser itself. And I'm going to go through these various pieces of code here, step by step throughout these videos. If you want, you could always just go to my website and you could easily just copy the code by clicking on the copy link over here. It'll be copied to your clipboard and then you could take it to your text editor. Now, if you wanted to play around with HTML in the browser, you can do that as well. You can right click, view page source or inspect the element. Let's view page source. And now we see the HTML for this site itself. If you go to YouTube, you can do the same thing. You can inspect elements or view page source. I'm going to right click the YouTube logo here. I'm going to inspect it. And you see we have this section that popped up underneath over here, or it could be on the right hand side, left hand side, or in a new window. It's up to you. I like having it docked in the bottom. So you can play around with the HTML and the CSS right here and get familiar with this. So for instance, we have the logo selected here. We go here to the width. If we uncheck that, you see it gets smaller. We apply it, it goes back to normal. If we right click on the element here, we have other options. I'm going to hide the element and now you see it's gone. I'm going to right click that again and reapply it. You could also view page source and you see the HTML for that as well. Now in terms of our project, let me show you what that's going to look like. And to do that, I'm going to go to my file explorer and I'm going to double click one of the files that I currently have. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to double click this index.html file. But before I do that, let me just explain what this is. Websites are pretty much just files and folders and databases on a computer in a data center. So here we have various files, all have the .html extension. That's how the operating system or the web server will know what type of file it is. And then we have folders over here. So I have a folder dedicated to videos, one dedicated to JavaScript, another one to images, another one to CSS and audio. Having well-structured projects is a good way to keep your code organized and generally a good way to work, especially on larger projects. So let me double click this right here. And now this is the beautiful website we're going to be developing. Doesn't this look amazing? Well, let me go to my text editor and show you what a partially finished version of this will look like. Okay, so this is Visual Studio Code. This is the text editor I'm going to be using for this series of videos. Right now, I'm going to take this line right here that's currently commented out, and I'll talk about commenting code later on. Reapply that. So the styles in my CSS folder in the style.css file itself will be reapplied. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back to my browser and I'm going to reload. Okay, so here we go. This is a partially finished version of the project we're going to be working on. We have a hero section up here. We have an embedded video from YouTube. 
I'll also show you how to embed videos that aren't on a third-party solution but hosted on your own web server. This is good if you don't want to use any third-party services for your videos. You could always just load them yourself and embed them within your projects. Now, this can have performance issues, especially if you don't have a robust web server, but it's something that you can do and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I briefly mentioned some of the stuff you need, which is you're going to need your computer, your laptop, your desktop. You could even code on your smartphone or tablet, but I recommend sticking to laptops and desktops. It could be any operating system, Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. It really doesn't matter. You're going to need a web browser, and I recommend either Chrome or Firefox because they have the best developer tools. And you're going to need a text editor, and I showed you the one we'll be using in this project, which is Visual Studio Code. It's free to use and it works on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Has pretty much everything you need in order to code. And it's free. Another option is Atom, which is also free and also works on all three operating systems. If you don't already have a favorite text editor installed, then consider using one of these. They're both great options and they're both free. Now, if you want to see what the first website looks like, you can go right here to a new tab. I'm going to type out info dot cern dot ch and this is the home of the first website now i want to do a video that will go more into detail about why this was created and how it was created but if you want to browse around you can take a look at how it looked who was behind it some of the technology used and things of that nature but again html Hypertext Markup Language is the foundation of every single website. It's comprised of HTML elements, tags, attributes, and you can see some of them right here in this example code on my website. In the next video, we'll actually start typing out some HTML and I'll go over the various pieces of code that you'll have within your web page and your web documents. Again, if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon. That way, whenever I create a new video, you'll be notified. I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding.